These and many more on today's episode of Reality Check. But first, let's meet our commentators. Joining us as special guest is KV, ex-contestant Big Brother Nigeria Shine Year Eye Edition. Hello and welcome again to another episode of Reality Check. Today's show is going to be a little bit different because I think I'm the only family. Okay, no, it's not just me. You know Laifa Stephanie as well. Hi guys, <laughs> present. You know Laifa <laughs> Stephanie. And of course, my name is Sarah. If this is your first time watching the show, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're about to have a great 30 minutes on TV. Let's start off with the latest member of the gang. Hi. We've got Fumi here with us. Yay. Hey, Fumi. Hi, Fumi, what's that name they call you again? Omo Pupa. Omo Pupa. Yeah. I'm a very pretty girl. <laughs> well, now to our special guest for the week. If you watch Big Brother and you watch the show, it's not going to be a surprise to you that we have this person all the way from the Big Brother Niger Shine Your Eyes season. We've got KB. <laughs> Looking so fine and so fly. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Money is talking. <laughs> Money is talking. Thank Herper, you. Thank how, you. how have you been? I've been good. I've been good, as you can see. As I shine yeah. your eyes. <laughs> as I can see. You're really shining. Oh my man, I don't get choices. Okay, That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so KV, um, let us start off with the beginning of how we got to meet you, okay. which was Big Brother. And yours, you, you broke a record. Oh really? Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, yeah, yeah. You actually. broke a record. You're the yeah. first person who left the show who wasn't evicted, who wasn't disqualified. Like it was a voluntary exit. Mm -hmm. and. We had a conversation before the show started okay. and I'm going to bring it back. Oh, okay. So I told him when I saw him that I thought he was having some withdrawal syndrome to stuff like alcohol okay. or, you know, because they had been locked down for a while. Yeah. But then he said something that blew my mind. Please, let's let's repeat it again. From your mouth. From your mouth. Yes. Let's repeat it again. Um, okay, like, I mean, that's like a very wrong perception or like, you know, saying to say like oh this guy had a uh, withdrawal symptoms because people, a lot of people don't know him personally and just yeah. you know, bring that out of their head so it's just like um being you know in a locked space for a long time and you get your mind so f up how long because this it's a lot let me tell you it's like a lot i was saying about six weeks you know without so we know that there's a lockdown phase, right? Yeah. But then I didn't know how bad it was. I thought you just like locked maybe down two days down, before right? like the show. Without your, I mean, I didn't even know it was without phone. But let's just imagine, okay, without your phone, yeah. you are there, and now without TV, no TV, no yeah, so phone, it was crazy. no interaction weeks. with mm -hmm. another Only human you being mm -hmm. in the hotel room. Yeah. Already things going through your mind. So that's just me. So like you know, I was just wanted to go on the show. Because I was eager, you know, when you're eager to want to be on this, because that's why I was on lockdown, you know. So, and then you know, going on, on going straight on the show to meet strangers, people like mm -hmm. like that, so guarded, like you know, it's a game, literally. So then when I got on the show, it was like ah, everybody was like, I, at first when I first got, everybody was like, oh yeah, welcome in. And then I said that oh, I saw that some of them felt like I was a threat, and then you know, everybody was like guarded, you know, guarded up here, yeah, and like I just like withdraw a little bit. And I, go, I started feeling really tired, like from all, all was was mental stress, basically. Hmm. Yeah. But did you ever imagine before you went on the show that that was going to happen? Oh, never. Like you know, when imagine like you prayed for something all your life, and it happened, and mm -hmm. you couldn't go through. Go through it. You had no idea this was a process to actually get into this. Oh, yeah, of course. Like Crazy. trust me, it was heartbreaking at first. Like mm -hmm. to first accept that reality. It was a very heartbreaking situation for me. Like when I got out of the show, I was tired. Like I was at some point depressed. Aww. Yeah, but then again, I was like, okay. Then for how long do I want to be feeling this, feeling way. this way? I just have to, you know, get started and and later I just face my fears and accept my reality. Yeah, you know, doing wow. very well. I want to ask how you face those fears. Because what did you need to do? Because it's easy when you say, oh, I just had to tell myself that, oh, you have to bounce out of this. It's not that, I mean, it's easy to say, yeah. but it's not that easy to do. Mm -hmm. So what, what were the things you, you, you did, you know, to, to get out of that zone and remind yourself that this is real life and you have to mm. put in effort to enjoy it? It's just, you know, when, like, when, it was, when you, you have that thought about, ah, am I, you know, why did I leave the show that early? Why did I, because, you know, why, why is it that I left the show like that? 
you know, why? Because a lot of people, we were just, there was a lot of narrative lying around. Ah, some people say, oh, me, it was, there wasn't drugs, it was this, it was that. But like, then you know what really happened to you, you know? I was like, okay. Then I, I was, I told, like I said, I was so really depressed and I just said, thought to myself, some days like when, you know, you, you just, so you're just sleeping every day. You know when you're depressed, you want to be in a dark place. But I just said to myself, bro, come on, you're not going to make money if you keep doing this. Like, so just the hungry for money. The money. So money was like the jump stars. <laughs> yeah. Like, if money don't motivate you, what is motivating you? Bro, like, I have to, you know, I have to get myself together, make money, you know. And besides, you know, I have what I do before I went to the house. Yeah. So I was like, okay, why not just, you know, take advantage of this thing, make be intentional about doing it, and trust me, when I start doing it, work has been going so much work these days. Oh, <laughs> that's, oh, that's the prayer. When you say too much work, that's yeah, the prayer. Yeah, no, no, but what have you been up to? I mean, since since all of that, since you getting back in the zone and getting ready to work, what what have you been up to? Well. Mm, I've been literally been working to be honest. I've just been building my brand as a photographer and a media personality. You know, I'm also you know been doing a lot of um, research. I've been you know been doing like I want to do a, pro a project very soon. So you know when you're at the initial stage of the project, so you know it's a lot what of work. What So I'm actually um, doing a documentary series. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On. Um. You guys, okay, let's, let's it keep it locked. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know, but uh, life has been good to be honest. Like, you know, I look back and like I'm really thankful for how far I've come. You know, I still have like I'm still a I'm still um, a brand ambassador for like a well-known brand, an international brand. You know, like I walk is going on smoothly. I mean, life is good. Man. Life is yeah. good, and you don't regret going on the show. No, I at first I regretted going on the show. When I was depressed, I was like, ah, I wish I would just stay in my house. Yeah. But then again, now, yeah, you don't I, I didn't regret it. But has 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 multi choice? Have they done anything to appease you, knowing that they put you through a lot? When we say you see six weeks without food, well, without, like, have and you they didn't done sue anything? them for it. So. Yeah, and you didn't sue them nor drag them. Yeah, but like I feel like multi choice is family to me now, yeah. So, um it's it's like saying like you know, when like they, they discover that oh this guy he is like a talent that can be used, you know, literally. You know, I've been on pro different projects with them, Nigerian Idols, AMBCA. Do you think yeah. that was a way to appease you or they just saw your talent and they just wanted to mm, you know if I don't have something tangible, yeah, I mean nobody will appease you for that still. So I mean, I was a, um, a so to say like a, um, I don't know what to put that word in. I forgot now, but like, let me say I was something they need. Literally. Yeah, yeah. So then you had value. To value, offer. yeah, yeah. So to say, yeah, that's that, that's exactly exact word. Hmm. I had value to offer. So and I said, oh, this guy, let's put him into this. Hand. Yeah, now so did you I approach come. them? Did they approach? I want to know how that happened because uh, working for, on huge platforms like AMBC mm -hmm. and Nigerian Idol, even you know. Yeah, but like he's their family already. You know, like we, I know them. I know these guys that do this thing. So we talk sometimes. They call me. Ah, okay, yeah, fine. This, that, that, this, this. I have to get up. Mm -hmm. And there are other events they used to do that. I'm always going for it. Okay. So from there, so we actually need to, to see like all the guys are that do from the producers like to the you know even to like to the top boss like we, they know me and know them so you know it was easy them. for it to yeah. just happen yeah mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. awesome that's mm -hmm. awesome i can see so mm -hmm. for somebody now that, that okay oh you took these pictures of yeah the, oh yeah, i did Whoever. so that's if we dope. want to if he wants you to do something for us, well, is there any process? Where like, how's your wrist card? Is my wrist card is very calm, actually. It's uh, just how calm, calm my dear. Did you see the way he calm. did his hand? Uh, is it big brother? Very calm. calm. Yeah, it's like, you know, still we are like a luxury um, brand. Mm -hmm. so God well. Locks. Come well, come correct. <laughs> God <laughs> well. Okay, but, but what has been um, the biggest accomplishment that you think that you've had? Like, what has happened post Big Brother that you told yourself, ah, I tried? Wow, like, that's a very good question. To be honest, like, I think my biggest 
accomplishments that have left the show right now is um, um, working on this recent Big Brother actually. Oh, yeah. really? Mm -hmm. Because it's like, you know, as a media personality, you you are happy when you are like, you, you see yourself grow. Because I can look back and I there was a time I wish I was working for them. Yeah. You know, now I can see myself, you know, doing that Absolutely. now. So it's like, you looking back and said, at the, at the point, point, this was my prayer point. Yeah. And I have a bigger prayer point now, basically. Of so course. like, yeah. Yeah, so then it's just like amazing to see, basically. Oh, that's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm so emotional right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's so beautiful. Okay. Kevin, you did mention that you're an actor. Oh, I'm, I'm actually an actor. I can act proper. Ah, uh -uh. Yeah. You so, know. Oh, wow. So, I, this kit actually really went viral. It was, it was all over Indian blogs. Yeah, it went really viral. Really? <laughs> yes. You went viral so in India with this. Yeah. Who came up with this idea? Who? who? Wait, was this, this other guy? You know when I first got off the show, now you do the, doing so many yeah. things. That just be like, yes. yeah, come here, come here, do this, do this, do this. So this was one of the, the things. Oh, the slow mo. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but do you see? Do you, do you ever see yourself going into acting? Full time? <laughs> do you ever see that happening to you? Mm, maybe not full time. I'll be like the Kule Afford. Kule Afford. Kule Afford Lion. Kule Afford Lion. Okay. The man that is a producer like. He, yes, yes. He, like very he little wants wants wants. like more. Tyler Perry. Yeah, like yeah. Very, Tyler Perry. that's what that's my target. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. that works. Mm -hmm. That still works. Mm -hmm. And there's more money behind the scene. Basically, basically. So that's, that's my target. Honest. It's all right. In what way have you been able to incorporate your personal experiences and emotions into your photography? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Producer, well done. Mm. Okay, my personal experiences. Are, well, like, to be honest, right, I think what really has brought me this far is my experience I had actually gained before the show. So I'd work with um, Studio 24. I don't know if Who doesn't know Studio 24? Yeah, I'd, I'd been like their head photographer. Like, yeah, oh. so I've had like the experiences like before that. Mm -hmm. So talking about emotions, now I was saying before that the emotions from leaving the show almost made me lose my talent made me feel like oh i don't want to do this anymore like it's just in my shell but i i stood up to myself and said no guy you, you've been doing this a long time why not this is the best time for you to do it now because it everybody now mm. knows you because of the passion oh yeah. that's oh, so awesome really. the passion for what you didn't complete it <laughs> the so you guys so you guys this is what you did uh, in a trial <laughs> <laughs> I like, don't win like one kind <laughs> man. no we have something for you uh, come yeah. on Courtesy <laughs> golden pen. Oh, see, I carried it upside down. Sexy, Sorry. Yummy noodles. Courtesy <laughs> wow. golden penny. Yes, we've got yeah. something for you. Thanks it's chocolate so spread. Oh, wow. Go forth and prosper. Hey, thank we'll you share so it much. to the world. Yeah, share thank it to the golden world. Penny. Yeah, Big and shout out to you. yeah, thank you so much. And I think fun of the week. Yep, fun of the fun week. of the week. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Doom. Doom. Shout out to you, Candy Raven Adobe from Facebook. Thank you so much for always being here for us. You can also be a fan of the week by using hashtag reality check on TVC. Yeah. Yes. All right. And also, before we leave, big shout out to our sponsors. You saw the smile you put on our face, Golden Penny. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Shout out to Aria Food. Reason ah. why I come here every single week. I tell you, top two reasons. <laughs> top two. <laughs> and also, big shout out to Fruity World. Yeah, love yeah we love we love our juice. You don't so know much. what this does. Ah, so much. And then, big shout out to T Cake and Cocktail. You see, my, my cake is finished. I have good plans for that. My cocktail. Uh, I have plans for it later. Yeah. Later tonight. But you two can be a part of the show. All you need to do is reach out to the, you know, to the number um, at the end of the, the screen. screen. Yeah. So we have to go now. Thank you for joining us. For me, if we call you that. again, you come, Abby. Sure. Sure, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. And thank you for joining us, KB. Thank you so much. Please, I want free photo shoot session. I don't <laughs> My birthday is in February. Oh, wow. I'm not... Let's do this. You're not this. thanking me. Let's do this. Thank you for coming, Steph. We do this show together. Oh, so really? it's nice seeing you. Then again. we need to you talk to management. Thank you, thank you for coming. Tell her thank you for coming. So, a, oh, I mean, thank you for coming. No, this is the producer. Of this. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice seeing you again, dear. <laughs> See you next week on Reality Check. Bye. Bye. Bye.